it's day seven. You won't find any swans swimming, but you might find some pearls. This is Rustoleum rose gold metallic. However, it was a little too pink for me, so I added a coat of pearl mist on top. This is peel and stick trim, and it has a really nice mix of pearls and gems. I generally like to start off my cone trees with a nice solid base, and this one is no exception. This sheet of mini pearls is from Dollar Tree and it's tiny little pearls connected by strands with an adhesive backing. I'm going to cut a few rows lengthwise. For my first cut, I'm going to trim away any bits on the outside edge of the pearls. And now I'll trim really tight to the other side so that there's no strings on this side either. Note that I've left the backing in place. So now I'm just going to attach the strand from the bottom edge and pull it tight up to the top peak of the cone. And then I'm going to repeat that process three more times so that the cone is evenly divided into quarters. I've already done two sections using a chevron pattern and I will show you how I space them perfectly. I'm using these gems and I'm actually just going to use the pearl stickers. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a sheet that was all pearls, so sometimes you've just got to make do. I've started with a full length piece of the pearl trim. Attach one end in the lower corner and pull it tight across at an angle so that it fits across the section. This ensures that your longest piece is already placed and you'll only need smaller pieces to complete the section. I'm using masking tape to space the pearls evenly. Once I have the row of pearls in place, I take my piece of masking tape and line it up evenly directly against the pearls. And then I lay the next row of pearls right on the other side of the masking tape so that it's nice and even and they're all perfectly spaced and just trim off any excess pearls. This is a classic chevron pattern. Continue this pattern around the cone. I have used six rows of pearls in each section. And now that I have all these sections, I just feel obligated to fill them up with something. I'm gonna use these really cool rose stickers that I picked up at Dollarama. These stickers came in two sizes and I'm going to use both alternating between rows. Starting with the smaller stickers, I'm placing it across the section and alternating with the larger piece. Try to keep them centered, and if they're a little too large for the section, you can always trim them, or you can even press them a little closer together so that they fit. Continue alternating sizes until all of your sections are complete. bad at all, but to finish it off, I'm going to add one more row vertically on each section of the tip of the tree. <laughs> 